let's take a look at some examples of multi-factor authentication. The first includes the smart card and PIN combination. This is where you have a card that has a chip that is used to validate and verify your identity, but in order to fully log on to the system, you must also provide a four-digit PIN. Again, this is just the ATM model that has worked so well. We also have the biometrics and PIN, where you present a fingerprint or an iris scan along with a number. This again verifies that, well, frankly, no one's chopped off your finger or pulled your eyeball out of your socket and presented it to the computer. And finally, the password and certificate. This is where I have to enter a password, but I also have to provide a certificate with my public key that proves I am who I say I am.